Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Alyssa and this is Britton. And today we're going to talk about the new DC animated movie that was just released yes. called Hush. And we have the comics right behind here. So we kind of know what this movie was going to be about, but um, most of the movies out of the DC animated movies, they tend to not stick like completely on script. But we kind of knew like a general idea yeah. of what it was going to be like. Um, so I guess we'll just tell you guys like our review about it, um, what our thoughts are, and then at the end I guess we'll just give like spoilers. That way if you want to click off the video then you can do that. So yep. yeah. It's basically this whole big mystery on who is Hush. So Batman's just trying to get to the bottom of who is Hush because all these people are working for Hush, um, trying to kill Batman essentially. Batman Hush is a very star-studded movie, mm -hmm. I mean, in like terms of like the uh, characters, this, yeah. not, not really like the actor, the voice actors themselves, like the characters. There's like pretty much almost all of the DC villains and all of Batman's main villains. Yeah, Batman's, yeah, Batman's main villains. And so that was pretty cool. It just seems like everyone will f have their favorite villain in it. So yeah. everyone will kind of like it. That's what it seems like to me. I liked both of them. It was a very, very well thought out movie. There wasn't really a lot of parts in it that said that I can't say I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Um... And then after reading the comic book too, it was it kept you guessing the entire time mm -hmm. throughout the film and throughout the book. Yeah. Um, that was probably one of my favorite parts of it. Right, because it's not the same as the comics, so mm -hmm. you couldn't really guess. For someone that actually had read the books, it's kind of good for them because it keeps them guessing and not knowing what's coming next, so it's cool. And the books came out, I believe, in 2009, I want to no, say. these ones came out like 2003. That was right. In terms of how they portrayed the parts that were in both the comic and the movie, it seems like they did a really good job of making the comic come to life. I thought that it, they the, did a really good job of they like, did. Yeah. making it pretty much on point on how the characters, how I would see the characters and yeah. visualize it in like an animated uh, film sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, this film is definitely a lot more toned down than the last DC animated oh, yeah. movie. I think, was it Gotham by Gaslight? No. Was that the one uh, that was the last one? Oh well, no, they've had a few of them since then. But that was like the last Batman film. I can't remember. Because they've also had the, the Suicide Squad one. Yeah. So. I, I think we did a review on it, so if you look back on our videos, you might be able to see it. But, um, yeah, it's a lot more toned down, I would say. So, it's good for, I wouldn't say all ages, but maybe, I'd say, like, 14 and under. It's unsafe. Is unsafe, yeah. <laughs> the changes that they did make in the movie, um, I kind of was... I kind of saw it coming from the comic book because they want to incorporate the characters that a lot more people today know. Yes, that's what um, it's like. Then back, then when they actually wrote it, because mm -hmm. back when they wrote it, a lot of things have happened in the comic book series mm -hmm. um, that haven't happened in the animated series continuity yet. Like for example, when um, what's her name? Huntress? M no, or Batman? Amanda, Amanda Wallace. Oh, Amanda Waller. Waller? Yeah. Um, when she was in the film, when Batman was talking to her, he had referenced Suicide Squad. And I don't think at this point Suicide Squad was... It wasn't as big as what it is today. Yeah, it wasn't like... Yeah, exactly. It wasn't a mainstay. Yeah. Like, it still did exist back then when these were written, but it was... I think it was just the original Suicide Squad that had been printed at that point. Or yeah, was the, the, the first the first printing of the Suicide Squad, yes. Yeah, I think that was the Back only. in like the 1980s. Yeah, so that was kind of funny. Batwoman has, it, has yet, in the animated movie, like in the comic book, uh, 
in the comic book, it's Oracle calling for Batman to mm -hmm. answer up. Mm -hmm. And in the movie itself, uh, it's Batwoman. Batwoman in the comics isn't existing, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because Barbara Gordon had her uh, spine shot out. Mm -hmm. So she was Oracle. Right. And so they made the transfer of Huntress and B to be uh, Batwoman instead. Or Batgirl. Batgirl. Yeah. Batwoman. So that was like one of the major, major differences. Minor difference was in the beginning they had, in the movie, it was Bane that was the original mm -hmm. supervillain that came out and was terrorizing. But in the comic it was Killer Croc. Yep. Yeah. And it seemed to be... I don't know. It seemed to me like the comic was almost more dark. The comic was way darker. Yeah. The comic was way darker than the film. Than the film was. itself was. So I thought that was pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. I mean, I can see them trying why they did it, though, too, at the same time. Because the they can do a lot more darker things. Like, the one thing the comic did that I wish the movie did mm -hmm. was go into the backstory of, uh, oh, Bat T of Tom Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his Bruce Wayne's best friend. Yeah, I wish that they had done that in the film. Because... That was like my one gripe with it. I yeah. Like, I wish they threw this in there because there's so much that could have, that yeah. would have made you feel a lot more connected to that character. Yeah. Yeah. I will just compare um, the side by side movie versus comic. So, starting out, like I said, it was Killer Croc in the comic and then Bane in the, Bane movie. In the, in the movie. movie. And then moving along further into the story, I think the second difference was Huntress. Yeah, Huntress and Batgirl. Huntress and Batgirl, that was swapped. So instead of, um, no, that, yeah, yeah, that was right. And then um, the Poison Ivy thing, that stayed the same. It was She was in both. Mm -hmm. She played the same role throughout the whole film. Oh, Catwoman, I forgot to say. Oh, yeah. Cat, Catwoman, she took a really big role in this both the comic and mm -hmm. the movie, which I thought that was really cool because you got the whole Batman and Catwoman yeah, <laughs> love thing going on. <laughs> so that was interesting to see. Yeah. Um, and then you got Alfred, he played a significantly bigger role in the movie. Oh yeah, he did. Because he essentially took over what Oracle was doing in the comics, mm -hmm. so you got to see him a lot more. And then uh, Bruce's friend, Tommy, he, uh, yeah, he played the same role in both. Which I think, I don't remember if it was in the film too, but in the comic it had mentioned that Catwoman knew Tommy also. I don't She think. hinted to it in the movie. Or hinted to it. Oh, okay. She That's did. what she did. She hinted to it in the movie. But I think in the comic, he, uh, Batman flat out asked her, like, oh, how do you know him? You got Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. She played the same role in both, both the comics. Yeah. yeah. The Joker, that storyline stayed the exact same. Exact same. Exact same. Nothing different there. In the movie, it had the Riddler in his costume. He was doing some kind of heist or something. He yep. had gotten away with stealing something. And... Batman actually found it kind of odd that like all these villains were being used for this one villain, Hush, um, being used by Hush, and Batman found it very strange that the Riddler was not essentially being used by him. Yeah. So it, he, ki he kind of connected that right away. We had, uh, what's her name? I mean, Jason Todd was in the comics, mm -hmm. compared to in the movie, there was no Jason Todd. Right. Um, and then Ra's al Ghul. Oh yeah, Talia. He, yeah, and Talia. Uh, they were both in the comic and not in the movie at all. I thought that was weird because they had like a, not like a significant, but like a, oh, good, no, a, good, a good chunk of the comic storyline. Yeah. So I thought it was interesting that they just completely excluded that out of the movie. He said Jason Todd was in here. Wait, no. It was in the comic. Jason Todd was in the comic book, and in the movie it was more Nightwing. Mhm. Mm for the whole graveyard scene. And then Tim, he was in here the yeah. comic. He was in 
both, right? Tim. No. Tim was in this was in the comic. Yeah. Damien was in the movie. Yes, that was the difference there. The last one, which is kind of a spoiler for the comics. So for uh, Jason Todd, who is I think he is. Yeah, he's dead also in the movie. No, he's been seen as the Red Hood in the, movie, in the animated series. In the animated movie series. Okay. Because they had the hold on under the Red Hood thing. Okay. So in the so in the movie mm -hmm. universe, he's considered still alive. Yes. Okay. Well, he's di he died, but he came. They had him come back in under the Red Hood. That was a whole movie. Right. No, I so. yeah no I I know. Okay. So, and then in the comic. Um, he is actually considered dead dead yeah <laughs> still and one of the creepy things that happens is it was believed batman believed that he was he went into the lazarus pit yeah that's what it's called lazarus pit and came back to life because he was acting crazy and it was kind of one of those mind tricks on batman um, but then that ended up not being him actually, so then the story continues. <laughs> it finally comes to sort of the end where <laughs> he finds out who he is and it seems very unexpected I think in both the comic and the movie. Yeah, you would it would have been you would have never guessed it because, because they never hinted towards it at all yeah. in either well i guess when batman was kind of suspic suspicious of the riddler i guess it kind of yeah made like a little tip off but um in both the comic and in the movie um the riddler is considered like a d-list villain so that's kind of why it was not really on the forefront of who Batman thought it would be. Yeah. When it was revealed that the Riddler was Hush, was it revealed? It wasn't revealed the same way. No, it wasn't. Because in the in, comic... In the comic it wasn't until like the very, very end. Yeah, it was Last like, page. Yeah, it was like one of the very last things to be shown and the Riddler took off his bandages and I think he was caught, he was detained at that point. Yeah, well, no, he was, yeah, he was caught in the, uh, he, he was in jail in the comics, yeah. Yes, that's what I'm, that's what I'm to say. And then, in the movie... Batman finds out that Riddler's hush. In... Yeah, he finds it out. But he kind of finds it out in both. <laughs> yeah. Just, but he, he really, like, is more blindsided in the movie. Yeah. I know we're probably forgetting something, but... Oh, it's okay. Well, it's Final okay. thoughts. Whatever. Final thoughts. Did you prefer the movie or the comics more? Um, I kind of preferred the comic a little bit more. I think I do too. I think both had its pros and cons. Yeah. For sure. It's a... I don't know. It's kind of a close call for me because they're essentially the same story, but they have different different mini plots in them both of them do mm -hmm. so it's a hard one for me I'd say probably the comics more but it's very close only because I like how they did the backstory with some of the characters yeah. in the comics they went into it more which you would think for an hour 22 minute movie I don't know I just think that they could have added they could have taken away some of the Catwoman stuff and instead put some of the... The flashback stuff. Yeah, flashback stuff. That would have been more fun. But that's okay. Yeah. I still definitely recommend this movie. Yes. I think. Um, like I said, it's not too, like, graphic or mature. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's mature. It's not like some of, these got... last, some of these past few DC animated movies where it's like, R rating. What? Yeah. I definitely would rewatch this movie. It's just entertaining to watch as mm -hmm. is and reread this book a few more times. Yeah, cuz you just got all the villains. Yeah. So that's that's what's it's cool about it. All the villains, just the whole star-studded. You got Superman in there. Oh, that's what well. I forgot. Superman. <laughs> yeah. You got the whole Superman Lois Lane thing going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. 
um, and the few funny jokes between or jabs from Batman. Mm -hmm. At Superman. That was yeah. Funny. It was just released on DVD just a couple days ago. Yeah. So it's fairly new. So go watch it. <laughs> yeah. One of those direct to t direct to movies. Gotta love it. Oh yeah. I think that's it, you guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when we upload because we don't have a regular upload schedule right now. No. No, not at all. A little update here. We, the last video that we posted was like a few months ago, I feel like. Yeah. Um, it's just been really crazy. We live at a very high, high, high volume tourist town. Mm -hmm. when it comes to the summer months so we've been working our behinds off like crazy and haven't gotten to film really or do anything fun really yeah but um yeah so that's kind of where we've been and then um i think i will see about us filming we're going to be going on a little road trip here in the next few days and I think we'll take the camera with us yep. and try to stop at some comic book stores that way we can film something for you guys just to throw together um, and then that video will probably be really short with just that so I'm gonna add an even longer update on that video okay, okay? so um, yeah like I said make sure your bell notification is on that way <laughs> you won't miss that video and see what is coming up for us yes we'll just say that there's something coming up <laughs> so yeah that's about it you guys thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you all in our next video bye, -bye. bye, -bye.